You guys decide who's going first? Yeah, I was born here, so I'm going first. <laughs> like a Disney prince. So call him Prince Harming because he lost his virginity to Sleeping Beauty, but she still doesn't know yet. To be clear, I've been here to be John's handler. <laughs> Just in case he sees Fujiko. <laughs> Want to see some roast battles? Yeah. That's not good enough, Zanes. Are you ready for some fucking roast battles? Yeah. Okay, only one rule before we start everything. On a count of three, we do a roast to let them know they're started. So it's gonna go one, two, three! Roast. You guys are good. Battle, battle, battle. Dude, have you guys decided who's going first? Oh, we didn't do it. You want to go first? Oh, I can go first. Okay. Am I going first? Okay. These two very scarily large men compared to <laughs> I'm, I'm petrified right now. I'm going to leave immediately. John is going first. All right. It's seven joke seats. Three, two, one! Rose! Zach looks like he's here to sell me guns for the upcoming Civil War. <laughs> I am actually not a part of the roast at all. I want that to be clear. I've been here to be John's handler. Just in case he sees Fujiko. wires get all crossed and then he just goes into a blind rage. I'm still, wait, I'm still not over Vietnam, all right? Uh, no, no, Zach doesn't sell guns, but uh, he did actually used to sell dogs to Michael Vick. Uh, speaking of Vietnam, John fought in Vietnam and he killed a bunch of people. And this was like two weekends ago. <laughs> Look, there's still more work to be done over there, all right? <laughs> uh, Every time I see Zach, he looks like uh, he just got done telling children their parents died. <laughs> Didn't like that one. This is what I was doing in Vietnam. <laughs> All right. Look, John has never done anything like athletic before, but somehow he still looks like a retired wrestler. <laughs> we call him Stone Cold Steve Auschwitz. <laughs> Nazis would have won if they had me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty sure Zach was uh, conceived by a half-smoked cigarette in a bush-like can. <laughs> <laughs> that 
somebody that somebody turned into a weed pipe. <laughs> now my mom don't smoke no more. But... <laughs> <laughs> now, John is 6'8". He's big as fuck, man. He looks like he rides the bench for the Los Angeles Quakers. <laughs> Uh, Zach, uh, he talks kind of slow, you know, and it's not because he's from the South, it's because all of his brain processing power is being used to form sentences without the N-word. Oh, shit, y'all already saw y'all's headliner up here earlier, right, Brandon? And Brandon has to sit on John's shoulders just in case he can't see the cross burning. <laughs> Which one of y'all want that one? <laughs> you want that one? I know this, but Zach is actually a pretty progressive uh, comedian. He kind of breaks up gender stereotypes, you know? Like, for example, he works at a comedy club, but you're not as likely to find him on stage as you are uh, back in the kitchen making sandwiches. <laughs> we don't have sandwiches at Laugh Factory. It's all chicken tenders. Uh, <laughs> That's a pretty, that's a pretty man thing. Nah, to if you're you right. ever perform there, you would know that. <laughs> I perform there many times, but I don't eat the food because I've been to comedy clubs before. Yeah. Uh, last one. All right, last one. All right. John is six eight. He's been married before. He's now divorced. He has a child, and he's like so tall that he can see everything but his kid. <laughs> Thank God I don't like my kid, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, that would sing, you know? Last, all right, last one. Uh, I heard that uh, Zach got fired for uh, sleeping on the job, but the way he talks, man, I, th I think he just put other people to sleep. Uh, that was the last one? That was... <laughs> yeah, I saved the worst for last, honestly. All right. One more? Pretty good. I uh, mean, do we have time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. All right, give it up for that, everybody. Holy shit. Oh, man. The bigger they are, the harder they bomb. Holy shit. This, this stage looks like the start of a great gay porno. Like, pretty good. One more time for them for opening up the road pack. So there they are, illuminated in all their glory. Let's start at the end there with Kevin Kellum. First up, what did you think of the battles here? Oh my God, I was worried. It was gonna get a little intense that they were gonna come to blows, but I don't think enough of us have testosterone to stop them. We were gonna have to get a tranquilizer dart to get John down. I know this is stand-up comedy, but you're doing crouch-down comedy. I really appreciate that. 
All right. Uh, no, this is really great. I, the 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 uh, his brain processing joke you did that was absolutely great. Wasn't that fucking fantastic? Uh, but I thought I thought Zach, even though he was slow, he did have not fast jabs. Everything you did was slower than molasses. Uh, but I thought you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Zach. I'm gonna give it to Zach. Nathan, what did you think? John, I appreciate you taking time to uh, stop repoing cars to be here. Impressive to be, <laughs> impressive to be up there. No notes. Uh, you did have the biggest pop with the uh, racial slur joke, but uh, Wish.com Theo Vaughn had the biggest pops consistently. So we're gonna give it to the trash man. Okay, trash man. He <laughs> too. Hell yeah. I, I think there's a, a universe. Uh, that exists where you two just deliver mattresses all day. <laughs> I'd watch that movie, bro. Anyways, <laughs> hell of a battle. Holy shit, what a fucking way to start off the night, first of all. Bangers all around, chants for John, but I think uh, Zach, performance-wise, consistency-wise, he just had it uh, from beginning to, to bottom, but great job, John, thank you. All right, Zach wins the battle, give it up for him, hell yeah. Before we go, I want thoughts from Brandon Keep. Fantastic battle. I have a question for you, Zach. The Vietnam joke and the not seeing your kids joke, where did you get inspiration from that? Uh, you know, sometimes when I'm sitting in my room... Uh... And I give you those two jokes, you do them on stage. <laughs> oh. No, I was literally about to say, I come upstairs and say, hey, Brandon, do you have something funny to say? <laughs> Uh, damn, give me a chance to answer. That's fair, I'm drunk. Uh, <laughs> I know you guys are fantastic. I love both of you guys, and I think you did great. Uh, and, uh, Zach definitely won, but John, fuck yeah. Keep going, buddy. Awesome. That's very good. Brandon letting everyone know Santa isn't real. That was cool. <laughs> Jessica Mizra. Um, Yeah, so, wow. Uh, great battle, super fun. John, you had some great ones. Zach, you had some great ones, too. I love that you, you're still dressed like a janitor from a movie about Harvard. <laughs> That's fun. Um, but that yeah, movie I think... changed my life. <laughs> Is it going to change that you make the microphone stand no. higher? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah you, can, you can make it higher. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know how you do that. <laughs> Zach won it for me. I thought you was, both were great, but Zach just like really killed it consistently. Zach killed it. Give yeah. it up for him. Solid. Give it up Solid. For both of them, guys. Solid. Great job. Great job. Both of you. Get out of here. I know what you're all thinking. The show is far too white, and I'm inclined to agree with you, sir. Arian, how are you? Good to see you. Let's get some Mexicans up in here. That sound good? Okay, only the front clap, by the way. All you guys were like, no! <laughs> Silence of the Mexicans. I want to see them. Guys, these two are fucking hilarious. They have had, like, literally some of our best performing battles online, and they're just so good and at shit-talking. I'm so excited for this battle. Give it up for these two, the amazing Ruben Ramirez and Oscar Carvajal! <laughs> Who's going first? Yeah, I was born here, so I'm going first. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get so racist. <laughs> All right, fake ass to pull the last Mexican out. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like it's Tijuana right now. Relax. We haven't started. Ruben's going first. Seven jokes each. Everybody, one, two, three. I tried to take Oscar before the battle from me, bro. Damn. So I wanted to make sure that I looked it up right. And I, you, they can't deport you if you're in the process ah. of becoming a citizen. So just in case ICE is here, he's in the process, y'all. So. <laughs> Look like you got Parkinson's, this motherfucker. <laughs> actually was born here, uh, which is lucky for him, man, because if he ever tried to cross the border, his fat ass wouldn't be able to cross the fence and shit. Like, <laughs> he will get stuck in the motherfucking tunnel and shit. <laughs> Oscar is so Mexican and lazy that he's Venezuelan. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I love you, bro. <laughs> Ruben looks like he wanted to be a pedophile, but every time he bought candy for the children, he would just eat it first. <laughs> He tried to chase them, but even the crippled ones would outrun him and shit. <laughs> Oscar has a lazy eye that works harder than him. <laughs> He's looking at you and me right now, yo. <laughs> I get to be a lazy Venezuelan, bro. You guys take care of me, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't have to go. <laughs> Ruben is so fat and ugly <laughs> that every time he plays strip poker, when he loses, they make him put more clothes on and shit. <laughs> he always ends up with like four jackets and three beanies and shit. It sounds like the shit that you had to pick up from Goodwill, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Oscar is so broke that he prays to God that Donald Trump gets reelected so he can get a free ride back home to Mexico. <laughs> Make America great again, by the way. Se nota, wey. Ruben. <laughs> Ruben looks like. <laughs> like Yolanda Saldivar with beard and shit, bro. He got death threats because he killed Selena and shit, bro. That's for the Mexicans, I don't know. We gotta make our juice jokes universal, bro. Yeah, we gotta make a white joke, uh -huh. Mexican joke. white joke, Mexican joke, like that, bro. Oscar looks like... Oscar looks like is uh, what uh, on Webster's Dictionary when you look up incest, baby. Uh, all right, here's a, here's a white joke. Um, <laughs> what joke are we on? He's a, um, Ruben. Ruben bought the Kama Sutra because he thought it was an Indian cookbook. <laughs> He looked at it and was like, wait, this is not how you make curry. <laughs> Oscar's day job is Uber, and I had to think it. I'm like, the only way he's ever to drive Uber if he borrows his roommate's car and his social security number. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Um, Somebody got to walk the only way you do Uber is if you got the fucking bass door attached to it so you could come in and shit. <laughs> I didn't say that right. Uh, <laughs> Nothing you say is right, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> Get him in glassing by that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I speak too loud. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's very good. <laughs> Ruben, as you can tell, is so anti cardio. <laughs> That if this room was to burn down, he would rather stay here and die than run outside and shit, bro. Hey, besides all this bullshit, man, you're an inspiration, bro. He's currently led Mexico's Special Olympic team <laughs> to the gold medal for stolen catalytic converters. Give it up, bro. And, and you led Mexico's plus size team, dude. <laughs> Joking. That's six. You got one more? Yeah, I got one more. I think we got one more, right? I don't, but let's do it, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Ruben bombed at a brewery last night. I spoke. The, <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw Ruben being funny was when he was stealing one of Ken Flores' jokes. <laughs> he wants to be like Ken Flores so much, it looks like he ate Ken Flores. <laughs> All right. That's Come it. on, Ruben. <laughs> that was gay. <laughs> uh, All right, give it up for that. <laughs> that, was that, shit. that was gay. That was great. Come on, give it up for that. Great job.
Also, I was fucked up because I, I was at that brewery show. But uh, I, mean, I was. He didn't bomb. He did fine. But, you know, give him, well, I want to start with Nathan. What did you think of this battle up here, man? Uh, obviously, Ruben, you were born here, Mexican Grimace. Um, which is kind of disappointing, Oscar. You, I, I, I love you, dude, but you just lean too heavy on him being heavy, man. So I got to go with Ruben. Yeah. Okay, Ruben gets a vote. Yeah. Yes. Ruben. Tito. This shit makes me mad that I'm Mexican. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got one guy with a Middle Eastern haircut and the other one just gets the Chinese. <laughs> if you guys are here, who's picking up metal in my alley? Anyways. <laughs> Let's go. They don't work. Shut up. Uh, shut up, stupid. Uh, damn, what a, what a great battle for both of you. Both had bars, uh, the candy joke. The Venezuelan lazy Mexican, fucking A. You had uh, Inglesi Barrera's uh, deep cut in there. Uh, that was fucking fantastic. Oscar, you had some good ones, but I think at the end, for me, it was Ruben, just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. Ruben! Yeah. Super Ruben. Keeper. Hell yeah, fantastic. Give it up for Zanies, everybody. Woo! For letting these guys take a break from the kitchen to do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that was fire. Bro. <laughs> I like Oscar's Aztec haircut. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Oscar's family built Montepichu, I think. Uh, I love both you guys. Uh, Ruben got it all day. Okay, Ruben, three. He wins. They give it up for Ruben. I do want thoughts from Jessica. You guys are both shaped like upside down Modelo bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't believe one was calling the other fat. <laughs> this was great, this was super good. I felt like it was really close. Oscar, you had some great ones, that like Venezuelan joke that I did not understand. <laughs> but I knew when to laugh and that was important. <laughs> Uh, but Ruben, I really felt like you took it. Um, this was like a battle of who could grow a beard, and Ruben can. <laughs> Ruben's beard gets a vote. I do want final thoughts from the bearded man himself, Kevin Callum. You know who I'm voting for? The Mexican. That's who I'm voting for. <laughs> Uh, no, in all honesty, uh, I, I thought Ruben had him by an inch, but also, Ruben, you said that he won the catalytic converter competition, right? You can't get underneath the fucking car, dude. What are you talking about? You need him to tie your shoes before you go home tonight, you know what I mean? I'm going with Ruben, but give it up for Oscar as well. All right, these two are awesome. Great job, great job. Two for two on a board handshake. I saw both of them, very funny. All right, your last undercard, man. We've been trying to get this specific battle uh, for four months. And just scheduling issues, it's fucked it up, but I'm so happy that it's on this night and we're gonna see it. Two of my favorites of all time, give it up for the amazing Evelyn Troutman and Ruslan Hoffman! Okay. If you can control your hunger for seven jokes, this will be a battle for the ages. Who's going first? Have you decided? I, I'm going first. Ruslan is going first. Everybody, it's seven joke sheets. Everyone at the same time. One, two, three, roll! Yeah, why did Evelyn cross the road? Why? To yell at the chicken for eating her food. <laughs> Yeah, so Evelyn has an eating disorder. <laughs> that means she doesn't go to restaurant for a date, but she prefers cemetery because there she can get as many flowers as she wants. <laughs> yeah, cemeteries are great for dates. Um, I'm too young to die. <laughs> Uh, Ruslan is from Kyrgyzstan, but he looks American. <laughs> the 
The only part of Ruslan that has successfully assimilated is his cholesterol. <laughs> I hope immigration uh, w will hear this joke so I can get my documents. <laughs> We're doing great, yeah. Yeah. So uh, Evelyn likes to travel. Uh, she likes to travel from one therapist to the next therapist to the next therapist. So uh, one of her therapists tried to uh, kill himself twice. Once when she uh, told him her stand-up jokes. And the second time was successful. She loves to travel. If Ruslan ever wanted to kill himself, it would require a hydraulics press. You still want to go for a date with me, right? Um, um, it's, it's unethical to have sex with someone with a mental disability. But Ruslan is still planning on reproducing uh, via mitosis. I mean, it's fun. Reproducing is fun. Yeah, in New Orleans, uh, they have a voodoo doll that you poke with pins if you don't like somebody. And in Chicago, we have Evelyn. <laughs> herself and smells like a voodoo doll in the New Orleans. <laughs> I'm very powerful. Uh, uh, Ruslan is a rapper, but he doesn't make his own beats um, because every time he tries to do so, it ends up sounding like slap, slap, slap. Clap, 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 All right. Yeah, she is right, but uh, the only thing she is wrong, I don't, I don't need beats. I can prove it. Yeah, like Jay and Silent Bob, like Pumbaa and Timon. I came to have a fun. Stop being sad. Come on. Together we are power. You can't eat, and I can. You are the suicidal Barbie. I'm fat and handsome can. Uh, I was going to try to give you a beat under that, but I didn't want to be rude. Um, um, Ruslan insists that he's straight. Uh, but in Soviet Russia, dick fucks you. <laughs> so lucky to be in America. God bless America. Yeah, Evelyn looks like she survived the drug overdose. Yeah, but that's because she couldn't lift the pill to swallow it. <laughs> See, those are big pills that they give you. Um, uh, ja du mala što inostrenai mošinai dožne biet seksijalnimi. Could you translate, please? She's inviting me to the cemetery. <laughs> For a day. But if I trans translate what she said, she said she didn't know that like Russian men could be so sexy. No. I mean, still same, you know. That's not what I said. I said I thought foreign boys were supposed to be hot. Ah, you said it wrong. You should study more, like I do. Man, I ran it by Vladimir. I guess he steered me wrong. Okay, <laughs> okay. last joke. I mean, uh, no, we, we have, have two, two more. Two more. Okay, two more jokes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Evelyn is possessed by a demon. 
and they both don't pay rent. <laughs> so neither landlord nor uh, priest brought it to eviction, and it's because uh, demon has a higher credit score, positive rental history, <laughs> and one less cat. <laughs> Uh, I showed my friend Ruslan's Tinder profile and she was like, is that a blobfish <laughs> holding a normal fish? <laughs> it's not his fault he's this voluminous and distorted. He's, he's supposed to be 4,000 feet under sea level. <laughs> But fishermen were confused when they caught him. They thought he wanted it because he just kept shouting, Niet, Niet! <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you forgot to mention that you are Evelyn Troutman. Her last name is Troutman, so I was holding that fish, you know? I was holding trout. <laughs> yeah, uh, Evelyn, Evelyn is a really cool girl. She deserves all the good in this life, you know? So that's why she, she gets for her birthday whatever she wants, whatever. And it's obvious she wants to die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, that's why she doesn't have resting beach face, uh, but rest in peace face. You should ask her to go to the cemetery. Uh, <laughs> We can go, three of us. Uh, the very first thing Ruslan told me about Kyrgyzstan is that they eat horse and drink horse milk, which explains why he's so gelatinous. <laughs> but Ruslan drives Uber, so he really has no job security because he was raised to think you're supposed to eat your method of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy I know to suckle on an exhaust pipe <laughs> in an effort to sustain his life. At least I'm alive. Okay, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Yes. Okay. I have never felt more like P.T. Barnum than this moment. One more time for this, everybody. Give it up for them. I don't care how objectively uncomfortable you were. I was having a great time <laughs> that whole thing. I want to get first thoughts from Lenny Kravitz here. What are you thinking, Tina? Wow, what a great battle, these two right here. Jesus Christ. I was adorable and weird. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. This looks like a weird version of Spirited Away, just saying. <laughs> right? It's the little girl with a fucking ghost that follows her everywhere. <laughs> if you don't know the reference, get some fucking culture. Anyways. Fujiko's coming up later. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, what a battle from raps to, to act outs, and you spoke in his language, and you had comebacks, Ruslan, you're wearing a silly hat. Um, wow, what an absolutely fantastic battle, but ultimately, I think Evelyn yeah. did flex. Yeah. Did flex with the act out, yeah. with the language. I gave it props for that, so that's my vote. Okay, Evelyn gets a vote, give it up for her. Brandon. Hell yeah. I love Evelyn, and I love the guy who's gonna inevitably follow her, follow her home tonight. Uh, 
<laughs> Ruthlon, I don't know what kind of Russian clan hat that is, but... Uh, <laughs> Evelyn, I love your white girl jokes. You're literally the Dairy Queen and he's the Grand Blizzard. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought you both of you were great. Ruth Vaughn, I love your shit, but Evelyn got you tonight, buddy. But uh, fantastic on both of you. Two for Evelyn. Yes. This one. This is why I love comedy. Like the only two, like the only other place that these guys would meet is a Magic the Gathering, like. <laughs> you know, and it's like, thank you for wearing that hat. Thank you. <laughs> you look like Robin never been to the hood. <laughs> I thought this was a great battle. I thought you guys both had great comebacks. Um, I think Evelyn edged it out um, with that clap, clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give it to Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn wins the battle. Give it up for her. We've delayed the inevitable by another week, I think. Kevin? I love this battle. Uh, it was from both ends of the spectrums of eating disorders that we saw tonight. And let me just tell Ruslan ate, but Evelyn. She took a nibble, all right? She took a nibble. Uh, I'm gonna go with Evelyn. I'm gonna go with Neville. Okay, Evelyn gets another vote. I want final thoughts from Nathan Clark. It, uh, it took me a minute to realize this wasn't a fever dream happening behind a Hot Topic counter. Uh, <laughs> but the net joke, uh, it made me pee a little bit, so we're gonna go with Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn wins it. Give it up for these two Fantastic. amazing battlers. So unique. Aww. Wow, hang on, don't worry. We'll get back to the battling in a second. If you like this video and you want to see stuff like this all the time, well, go subscribe to our Patreon. This entire show was up on Patreon weeks ago. Go subscribe there. We have full shows, our entire back catalog. All of the tournament that you're seeing here in this episode is up there right now. Go subscribe on Patreon and uh, already, if you haven't done it, hit the like button on this video. It helps us out. Oh, man. Okay, hell yeah. I like that he got to touch a woman finally. <laughs> I do feel bad that that footage is going to be used in the inevitable like documentary later on Netflix. <laughs> Tragedy strikes Chicago comedy. <laughs> the, the Russian war takes on the American front. <laughs> All right. You guys just sat through enough bullshit. You guys ready for the main event of the year? Yeah. I'm so excited to see this. I mean, it's a battle of the titans. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen, but I know it's going to be great. So I want to start it off. Battle. 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 battle, 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 battle Goodness gracious, it's gonna get racial. Now, all right. Max, I'm gonna have you call it heads in the air, okay? I'm gonna have you call whatever it is in the air. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm autistic. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Heads. It's Tails Fujiko. Are you going first or are you deferring to Max? Oh, thank you, okay. Fujiko. <laughs> Max is going first. And a reminder, they have won four battles Woo! in a row. So I want you to give everything to them right now. Max is going first. Three rounds. One, two, three. Rounds. I'm just going to start by saying that I, I'm not going to do the voice. Um, <laughs> That would break my Fuji code of honor, okay? I actually, the first time I heard Fujiko's voice, it was funny, it was a few weeks ago, she gave me a call on the phone, and then I said, uh, no, I would not like to ex uh, renew my car's extended warranty. Thank you for the warranty. Max looks like Captain America. But I meant by Captain Make America Great Again. Did you just 
hit on me, Fuji? What the fuck? You're not my type. <laughs> I mean, I caught a vibe in the green room, so I'll just... <laughs> okay, so Fujiko is a bit of a character, and I know what you were all thinking when she first walked on stage. Is, is she on pills? What the fuck is... Fujiko interacts with the world like it's her first day out of a cult. <laughs> be a nice character. <laughs> Would you like to join? I don't know what a Kurt is, so. I can teach you later. Max looks like a Disney prince, so call him Prince Harming because he lost his virginity to Sleeping Beauty, but she still doesn't know yet. <laughs> Uh, Fujiko produces a comedy show at a different venue that she calls uh, Laugh Out Love. And no, I'm not imagining her trying to pronounce Laugh Out Love, okay? <laughs> That's not extremely hilarious. That's the name of the show. Okay? I'm so grateful he's actually, you know, announcing my show here. Thank you for your collaboration. <laughs> Looks like a pussy. Oh, sorry, I have more. He's so soft, the shaman bears use him to wipe the shit from little bear assholes. Hold on, so guys, this, this, her notebook just says the N word a hundred times. Chasing my dream, I guess. Uh, so Fujiko is so tiny that one time she fell into wet cement and then the shape she left went viral for being the shape of a rat. <laughs> very cute, yeah. Yeah, very cute. If Max was in Toy Story, he'd be Udi. But if he was in the prison, he'd be the bitch. <laughs> So you pull the string on his back, and it would be like, oh, there's a dick in my ass. Fujiko's, uh, I, she's really busy. I'm surprised she could make it here tonight. She, uh, you know, she works full time. She produces a comedy show, and most of all, she's always standing in front of national monuments with a selfie stick. <laughs> he uses it too. Max is so white. Why is the name of your father? He listens to NPR, Nazi Propaganda Radio. And he is so white, he asks for the manager, but says manager with the hard R. Guys, give it up for the first round of this. Great job. We're doing three. Oh my god, Fujiko, you got some fans in the back, rowdy. I want to give first off some Brandon Kiefer. What did you think of whatever this was? 
That was, in, that was incredibly close for that being her second language, Max. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to Japan, they would murder you. Uh, it would hard car you. Uh, I love both you guys. I don't, I, gotta, I don't know. <laughs> I'm torn because whatever Fujiko says, I love. All right. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I will give I will give the first round to Max though. Okay, Max gets a vote. Hell yeah! yeah. And a surprise to no one. All the white women started shrieking <laughs> for Max. I want to, I want next thoughts from Jessica. Max and Fujiko are a couple I would watch on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I have watched. And uh, I. <laughs> Fujiko, I thought you had some great comebacks. I love how dark you can get. I love all of your stuff. Um, that uh, inward 100 times joke was great, Max. Um, Max, I think you, you won the first round for me. Okay, yeah! Max is two more. Yeah! Kevin Kellen. Oh, goddamn. Uh, I like that Max could have been racist, but told the audience, hey, the racism is over here. You guys think the racism. You painted the racist picture in their minds, and then you told them to be racist. It was very thinking. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna go with Max in the first round. Max wins round one. But I do want final thoughts here from Nathan. I gotta agree with Kevin, man. Uh, Max coming out saying I'm not doing the voice to start it off and made us all do the voice in our heads. <laughs> Don't doubt, you did the voice, every one of you. But uh, yeah, Fujiko's rebuttals uh, were top notch. So actually I'm gonna go with her because she was hitting you back on that. So. Okay. Final thoughts, Yeah, what a fantastic first round. Holy shit. It, it was a battle, of, not even the jokes, the comebacks. Uh, Fuji no, <laughs> and break my Fuji code. It's fucking, I love wordplay. Uh, but we gotta admit, Fujiko got two breaks. She got two applause breaks and a chance, so my vote's gonna be for Fujiko. Okay, contestants, final thoughts. But Max wins round one. This next round is not going to be typical. We're going to go one, uh, one minute uninterrupted. Each person, Max, you started the first round, so you're going to start the second round. One minute uninterrupted from Fujiko. Everybody, three, two, one. Roast. My strength is positive comedy, and even in roast. And I would love to spread the love and positive energy to everyone. But Max. I know you have been struggling with some health issues and some pain. And we are here for you. So today I invited his doctor to diagnose so we can all support you. Yes. Can the doctor come to the stage, please? Thank you so much. So let's see. What's his symptom at? <laughs> symptom at? <laughs> It's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get better insurance. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Well, here I go. Um, this, uh, this is fucking insane. This is ridiculous. Like, this shouldn't be happening. When I started doing comedy, it wasn't my dream to, like, insult immigrants trying their best, you know? <laughs> I don't want to do this. You think, <laughs> I have to like, I'm tasked with making fun of a animated Disney character. This sucks. <laughs> For real, you think, you think when Michael Jordan was pitched the movie Space Jam, he would have said no if in the script it said, you gotta beat the shit out of Lola Bunny. This is, <laughs> you know what, this is up here. This is like, honestly, the next presidential debates. <laughs> you got Fuji Joe Biden, who is 80% aware of what's going on. <laughs> 
And then you got me, some asshole who's like pretty good at debates, but you don't want him to win. <laughs> say is Fujiko has this crazy advantage in roast battles because of the language barrier. It's so cute and endearing. It's like, you know when someone's mentally challenged and they're like really strong? That's what I'm up against. She's got roast battle retard strength. Holy shit, round two in the book. I'm hard, but um, I'm not sure which round got me there, but I'm there. I want, I want first thoughts, actually, from Jessica Mizra. What, what did you think about what just happened up here? I have a lot of thoughts. Fuchiko, I love that you brought a doctor up there, even though in America that's really gonna cost you. <laughs> That was so great, but Max, I feel like you won it with that self-referential stuff that really like crescendoed into something amazing. I really love that. For me, for me Max, Max won that round. Okay, Max gets a vote. Give it up for Max. And round two, he gets a vote. Kevin. Wow, that, that whole health insurance bit makes me want to move to Canada, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, but I, I also feel bad that, that we opened it, we saw it said gay, and then they had to pick it up, and then it said gay. <laughs> it, it was like someone fumbling a proposal. Like, ah, here's the ring, oh shit! <laughs> like, I, like, uh, I thought that was an incredibly wild, fun bit. I enjoyed that uh, we have a doctor who doesn't seem like a real doctor. <laughs> Seems like a hangs out at gymnastics tournaments doctor. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I ruined gymnastics for you. <laughs> Let me get off the pummel horse here for a fucking minute. Uh, but the thing is, Max was ready, and you threw something at him that he didn't know, and then immediately he had a health insurance riff that he clearly didn't write. He just riffed that, and then he had a minute of material that was like bringing you out to pasture. Deep water, Max swam out there. I'm going with Max. Two votes. Nathan. That was a wild haiku we had to watch. Uh, that just, I, the doctor was an Asian, that blew my mind. Um, uh, but I gotta say, Max fulfilled every open micer and backstream and got away with saying retard and it was hilarious. So I'm gonna go with Max. <laughs> Max wins the tournament. Holy shit. I'm not done here. I want, I want thoughts from Tito. Max just won, but what did you think of that specific round? Uh, wow. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, listen, I'm, listen, I was in the battle last year. I don't know if you caught the video, but this fucker brought a Mexican on stage to be my dad. <laughs> and it fucking murdered. Uh, people were chanting his name. It was gay. Uh, <laughs> Terrible. I think Fujiko, you you went for it. You gave it your all. You brought somebody on. It was clever. You really brought it. But I will say, Max, this is a joke writing. Uh, this is a joke writing battle, and Max had the joke, self-deprecating, and you've just been on fire for a minute. So I was gonna go with Max. Okay, Max, let's go. Keeper. Max, you were diagnosed gay, and she said it was terminal. Uh, <laughs> I think after this, you should go to the hospital immediately <laughs> so you don't die from homosexuality. Uh, as a guy who lost last year because he tried a prop bit and no one respected it. <laughs> you fucking losers. Uh, Fujiko, you have my vote, goddammit. Now, the 
if we were shitter, you're choked. Like, oh, Max won, give him the belt. White guy wins again. <laughs> you go. But these two have worked too long and too hard for it to end there, and I know that they have material pe prepared for a third round. I don't know about you, I kind of want to fucking hear that third round. Uh, Fujiko, she's quite the workhorse. You know, she she works full time. She's new to this country. She does comedy in a second language. She she made it to the finals here. She's really got that dog in her, assuming she ate dinner. Uh, I didn't know what that means, actually. For the best. <laughs> Any girl who goes on a date with Max Sorich wakes up with. Sores and an itch. It's true, I do have herpes. That's a good, yeah. I know you do. <laughs> um, Fujiko loves karaoke. You know what karaoke is. It's where you go on stage and you say someone else's words. It's kind of like exactly what she's doing right now. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Max was in porno version of Home Alone. Oh. Called Bone Alone. Where he jacks off in the mirror. And when he come, he goes, Ah! It is scary. Um, so Fujiko's an accountant. It actually, it took her seven times to pass her CPA exam. And it had nothing to do with the material. She just, she kept crashing her car in the parking lot. Thank you. I'm a good driver. Max works as a barista. Imagine this like pervy smirk when he turns the iPad to you for a tip. Or I'll give you a tip. Maybe you should quit comedy and start doing the gay porno so you can be really like, Max, so rich. That joke took longer than you trying to parallel park. Fujiko, this isn't the first uh, competition she's been in. She actually won a beauty pageant in Japan. She was crowned Miss Pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So it's been an honor to battle with you. It's like a classic Rocky versus the bully. Like a Karate Kid versus Cobra KKK. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so sick of this chop shtick at this point. Oh! Dude, how funny would it be if at the end of this com uh, competition, Fujiko just dropped the accent? Yeah. I can't fucking believe you idiots fell for that. Fuji who the fuck's named Fujiko, all right? I know marsupials with more believable backgrounds than Fujiko, fucking idiot. That, that was supposed to be the closer, so. <laughs> Okay. Max came from a very loving family. And his parents really proud of him because he's a proud boy. <laughs> so his parents cheered on January 6th. Saying like, go Max, we love you. Shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Give it up for them, everyone. Wow. From what I've understood from Fujiko, you are gay. <laughs> Take this belt. Yeah! He wins. Yeah! I want one thing known to hear. Fujiko, when was your first roast battle? Forever. When, when was it? I think it was February it was 28th. 28th. The first round. Four weeks ago. Oh my God. And she's here.
They're standing, but it should be one of these. To be it should be one of those. All right. You guys stop clapping so quickly. You're like, all right, we get it. She's Asian. But Max, uh, honestly, looking at you, everything's probably going to work out. So one more time for these two animals coming up here. Yes, I love them. Before we go, I know it's late, and I love you all for being out here. I want final thoughts from the panel. If you have any, Kevin, what did you think? Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Fujiko. God damn it. That was fucking incredible. Uh, there, there's, something, there's something to be said about doing comedy in general. Everyone's like, oh, I want to do comedy. And then you come to the United States, and you do it in a second language. That was absolutely incredible. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Yeah. You're a fucking bright light. You're a bright light. Thank you so much. Maxim, Ma Max, you only won this because you're hot. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. There we go. And you're wearing around your neck like a fucking asshole already. You are wearing. I don't know what to do with this. Put it around your waist, you fucking dork. All right, hide the herpes, you fucking disease. You diseased gay man. Nathan. That's funny. Uh, make some noise for Chris and Zanies for putting this on for you guys. All right, for fucking show. Uh, winning four battles in a row is nothing to, you know, just boo-boo on. This, you guys both did great. Fujiko, it was great seeing you. Um, I, I'm excited to see what you do next year. This ruled. Max, it's been real cool seeing you grow in comedy from shitty little open micers sending me avails I would ignore to, like, <laughs> out here winning shit, man. I'm proud of you. Good job. All right, Max, hell yeah. Tito. Wow, just wow. Just absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for putting in that work and entertaining us to shit. Fujiko, you're an immigrant's dream right now. There's gonna be a movie about you on Netflix in like a week. Um, <laughs> it's called Squid Games. <laughs> Green light. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, Fujiko, very impressed by, by your effort. You came, but Max definitely brought it. The dog in her and the mispronunciation. I mean, the flexing, the wordplay. Uh, Max came into play, but Fujiko, you put up a great fight. Very proud of you, girl. Yeah. Keep it. Fujiko, you I, legit, the first person you went against after your roast, I was like, ha, ha, how'd that go? And he's like, she whooped my ass. <laughs> and since then, I have been dying to watch you go up, and I fucking think it's fantastic. I love everything you're doing. This is your second language, and the fact that you made it to the finals is incredible. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie, Max was terrified of you. I know this for a fact. He came to my house and talked to me about this. <laughs> I love that you made it in the finals. I think you uh, did a great job, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Previous champ, Jess Misner, what do you think of this? I think we can all agree there's one too many judges. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Keep it going for Fujiko. Keep it going for Matt. Get the fuck out of here and get drunk, all right? It's a work night, and this is all you have. Get the fuck out of here, you two. Oh, man. They're going to make a porno that I'm definitely buying later. All right. You guys are amazing. I appreciate it. Uh, first of all, before we get out of here, I want to thank Zany for hosting this tournament. It's her first year here, and they've been amazing, accommodating this insane show. Zany's amazing. We got a Patreon, so your friends that missed it, they can watch this whole show on Monday. Give it up for your servers, Hannah, Lily, Jordan, and Jen. They're taking care of your checks in a moment. You're gonna, they're gonna drive them. Your bartender, David Miles, taking care of you getting drunk. And hungover tomorrow. Your checks are dropping. And then finally, your panelists, the amazing Kevin Callum, Nathan, Tito, Brandon, Mizra. I'm Chris. I love you all. Get drunk. Have a great night. Thank you for coming out to the Rose Petal Five.